Solve the system of equations. x squared plus xy plus x equals 10. y squared plus xy plus y equals 20. How shall we solve it? Now you can see in our first equation, on the left side, we can take out an x. So that means x times, here is x plus y plus 1. It is 10. Or in our second equation, we can take out a y on the left side from our second equation. So it is y times y plus here is x, here is 1, is 20. We can clearly see that on the left hand side of our both new equations, there is a common factor, that is x plus y plus 1. So now what can we do? I like to let the third equation be divided by the fourth. Now we can get, what can we get? Of course, the left hand side divided by the left hand side, the right hand side divided by this right hand side. Of course we know these two parts are identical, so just cancel out each other x over y equals 10 over 20. We know 10 over 20 is just 1 over 2, a half. So now we get the ratio of x and y. It's 1 over 2. Multiply the both sides times y. Then we can get x is y over 2. Then, of course, we can get y is 2 times x. So y is 2 times x. Now, we've got the relationship between x and y. Of course, we can substitute y equals 2x for y. So our first equation will actually be x squared plus x times 2x is 2 times x squared plus x equals 10. Quadratic equation about x. It is 3x squared plus x minus 10 equals 0. We can factorize the left hand side. How? This plus x can be written as plus 6x minus 5x. Because then we can get the factor x plus 2. Here we can take out a 3 times x. Then here is x plus 2. Minus 5 is taken out. In the bracket, it is x plus 2. So now, x plus 2 can be taken out. So here it is, x plus 2 times 3x minus 5 equals 0. Now we have two cases, actually. And these two cases are, of course, very boring. First case, second case. In our first case, x plus 2 is 0. In our second case, 3x minus 5 is 0. And then solve the values of x in each of the cases. In our first case, x is minus 2. And in our second case, x is 5 over 3. And then, for y, of course, y is 2 times x. So now, in our first case, y is actually equal to 94. In our second case, y is 10 over 3. So now we get two solution pairs. They are negative 2, negative 4, and 5 over 3, 10 over 3. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.